and I'm going to call this bench underscore word underscore 01. And I'm going to create another one. I'm going to call this m underscore um, bench underscore legs underscore 01. Um, and I know what these are already, so I'm just going to go ahead and create uh, two more materials. I'm going to call this m underscore uh, bench underscore screws 01 and another one m underscore bench underscore uh, I'm going to call them hinges, although I don't think that's quite the exactly correct word for what those are. But anyway, so I've got my um, four materials there, which I just created. They're named nicely so I can refer back to them later. And I'm just going to double click on that to bring up the edit window. And that's going to bring up this um, edit window for that material. And the first thing I'm going to see is this um, end result shader node. So this is the shader itself, not the material. Um, over here on the left, we've got those descriptions for what type of material as I was describing it. Um, I'm going to say that uh, in my blend mode, I'm going to choose this as opaque because it's opaque. And I think that's good enough for me for now. Um, so I've got my basic shader here. And as you can see, I've got my inputs. I've got color, metallic, specular roughness, as I would expect it. And there's normal maps as well. Um, and normals basically just to explain with a texture um, the how the surface can be uneven, how light can react um, differently. It may be completely flat, but if you apply a normal map, it will actually apply some, the, the illusion of some relief on that surface. I'll show you what that means in a second. Um, but basically, this is your standard shader. I'm going to show you how to set up a basic PBR uh, for this wood. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some textures that I've already got from Megascans. And I'm going to just put these side by side so that we can see them next to each other for now. Um, okay, so I just want to see my shader there and most of my window here. And I'm looking at my wood material. So OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Megascans folder. And um, these textures were imported from Megascans, so they just came in as these um, texture nodes here. I can drag these. The easiest way to bring these in is just drag in uh, from the content browser into the material window. And there I've got my um, albedo. And I'm going to bring in my roughness and my normal map. Okay, so basics of a PBR material. Okay, so now I've got that, I've dragged that in from my content browser. I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is create a texture coordinate. So if I right click, type coord, that'll bring that up. If I um, just expand that um, little preview on the right hand side. It shows me the preview of that, what that node is. And this is basically just a way of showing an even mapping um, of U and V coordinates for this texture. Um, so basically, I'm going to plug that into the UV slot. Uh, by default, it kind of does this already. It's just useful to know if you do need to change the UV mapping um, to have more tiling. If you want it to repeat more, then create one of these and you can affect the tiling over there. You can also do things like rotate textures and uh, other kinds of manipulations. But yeah, that's simply got three, you've got three materials there, uh, three textures, sorry, with some UVs plugged in. Now I can drag from my outputs, my RGB um, color values. I'm going to drag that into base color. I'm going to drag um, this roughness into roughness. I'm going to drag my normals into normals. And so I've got three textures in there. And I can see my preview up here um, in the preview window, which is you know, it's nice to be able to kind of see roughly what that's going to look like on a, on a shader ball. Um, 
And yeah, this is a really simple shader I've got now. So for, well, now I've got this shader, what I do need to do is hit save. And if I don't hit save, then that shader doesn't really exist um, or it's not up to date. So now, now that um, shader is in my materials folder, which is over here. Um, so I got, got this material here. Now you can see it's got some color on it in this thumbnail. So what I can do is I can drag this into one of these slots, but because you can see they're all they're all called element zero, one, two, three, which is not very easy to figure out. Um, the other thing I could do is actually drag this material into the viewport here. So if I drag the wood onto where I think the wood's going to be, then it will also drop it on there. And you can see that it's also um, put itself in element three. So instead of having to guess which one that goes in, I can just drop it in the viewport there.